Yo, what's up guys, it's Dr. Shy, and today I'm going to be talking about my all-time favorite game, Deltarune. Sure, Undertale is like really deep and fourth wall breaking and Sans is nice, but Deltarune is gay people as the main character, so it's, you know, hashtag relatable. To talk about each topic, I'll actually be splitting it up into ch chapters, you know, like the game. By the way, spoiler warning, like, of course though, right? Like, no shit. Overall, the visuals of Deltarune are way more detailed than Undertale, with Toby Fox having way more experience making pixel art compared to the stir project that was Undertale, with his only experience before that being the Earthbound Halloween hack. The animation as well is way more detailed in multiple areas of the game. For example, whenever Chris and Susie jump into the dark world, they have a really fluid run and jump animation, as well as the falling spray, with Chris's red eye being shown in a single frame of the landing animation. Another great example is just the entire battle art, with Chris, Susie, and Ralsei having fully animated idols and act animations, compared to what Frisk had in Undertale, which was just their overworld spray, without any art of them in actual battles, and only flavor text. Also, the art in general is just really damn cool, and the designs being really amazing. Personally, Jevil and Sean are my favorites in mechanics and design, however. With Deltarune's amazing visuals, the mechanics definitely aid the art with the visually pleasing and fun battles, with an amazing example being the secret bosses like Jevil and Spam to Neo, which Spam to Neo you are seeing in the background right now, with every single bullet being decorated to a T like the Sice and Jevil and the blue Spam has a Neo's way, which also have the unique mechanic of being shot. The entirety of the game has incredibly in-depth attacks, however, Chapter 1 only having that much in-depth mechanics with Jevil alone. The fights themselves are also fairly difficult bosses-wise, except the fucking king. Also, the random punch-out fight with the queen is really well-made and actually fun to play, even if it does get a tad repetitive after a couple playthroughs, like what I've done. As well as the fights, the general movement mechanics, like the overworld, are really fluid, with the sprinting being incredibly useful, which makes Undertale just a complete slog in comparison. The music in Deltarune always absolutely floors me, with every single important song being a certified hood classic trademark, and the entire soundtrack being free to be officially downloaded and copyright free for use in YouTube videos is also incredibly useful, especially as I'm using it right now as an example for just how good it sounds. I. Uh, can't really say anything else with the music since I'm musically inept for the most things besides fucking Fred Night Funkin, so uh... So the story of Deltarune, I can't really comment on specifically since only two sevenths of it are of the game are even out, but I can say that the writing for all those happened is incredible to read and an absolute amazing time. From all the dialogue to cutscenes to basically a fucking lesbian day between a deer and Barney the Dinosaur, all of the writing is just hilarious and can be really damn emotional when it tries to be. A good example of this is the dialogue Noelle says to her at the last part when she's in her party. She talks about the fun time she had with her sister Des and Chris, as well as Chris's brother Azrael. During a scene on the buttons that they press spells of December, which can be seen as Noelle just really liking Christmas or whatever, but her sister's name is Des, which is short for December. And the storyline with Birdly involves her not being able to spell December during the spelling bee and breaking out on the floor in response to the word, which is nearly confirmed to be because Death went missing was confirmed by a secret website URL found during a Spamton themed charity event, which lists her needing to be found. And that's just why I can list off the top of my head. To be frank, the story is just mind bogglingly good. To summarize, Delta is just an amazing game made by a great dev and a team of people, with each elm being incredibly made and just an absolute joy to experience for the first time, second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, whatever. I'd say overall, I just really fucking love this damn game, and for extra background footage, I beat all of chapter one up to Jebel in less than 50 minutes. That's how fun it is. I was having a great time the entire time. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you all in like a year when I upload next. Bye.